my name is Cass and welcome to my Minecraft custom map review. Today we are taking a look at the custom map Stargate Adventure, created by Clyrandom. The version I used was 1.0. Story You are a member of the SG7 team and after Earth is attacked you are tasked to save it. The main plot of the map is interesting and engaging at first but is sadly so thinly stretched that it loses its importance and only really serves as a reason for you to visit different planets. Only the beginning and the ending really tell the story. Luckily most of the planets you travel to have compelling and atmospheric subplots which you can experience if you explore them. But therein also lies a major negative point concerning the story. On one hand exploration plays a key role in discovering the different stories and atmospheric elements, on the other hand the main plot asks for urgency or earth will be destroyed. It all feels very disconnected. Creativity The different locations all look beautiful and are well crafted. Most of the planets are really unique and have a great atmosphere. They are extremely huge and especially great for exploring. But because they and the different buildings are also big, problems arise. You can easily get lost and most of them are extremely difficult to navigate through. Especially the later planets are notorious for that. The different puzzles which mostly consist of exploration are well designed and have a great atmospheric feel to them. But they suffer because of the size of their surroundings. You often can't really grasp the whole puzzle because location is just too huge and confusing. Another minor problem is that because there is no specific texture pack, some of the encounters and locations are a bit immersion breaking, especially the ones that have to do with redstone. Difficulty This map can be played on easy, normal or hard. I have to say this map is more time consuming than challenging. Most of the puzzles have to do with exploration and because every location is extremely big, and sometimes even a bit maze-like, you can really lose a lot of time finding a specific item. Also the lack of direction and the open world of most planets make it often really difficult to find the right way. But the strangest problem is that even so this map is all about exploration, there is often times a lack of food. Random stuff. The map is of course set in a Stargate universe and it contains an awesome Stargate system which uses the original sounds of the TV show. Sadly a scoring system is missing. For a map with such a huge focus on exploration it's a bit strange that there is none. Conclusion Stargate Adventure is a great map to explore with an exceptional atmosphere. But those are sadly the only two things this map is great at. The unfitting story that contradicts the focus on exploration, the puzzles that are often very confusing and the extreme lack of direction can put you off if you are looking for a real adventure map. But if you are looking for a map where you can explore different and unique worlds and always wanted to use a stargate for that, then this map is for you. Last but not least, this map will take you at least 3 hours to complete. That's about it. I hope that you liked my little review, that my German accent isn't that annoying and, most importantly, that I could help you decide if you want to play this map. My name is Cass and I hopefully see you next time. Please.